Hey yo, welcome back to another Hunger Games. That's why we're doing another Hunger Games today. And today we're doing Teletubby Tussle, right there. Round one. Now you might be saying, what on earth is Teletubby Tussle? Now if you didn't see the title, it's based on Slendy Tubby 3. N not, not the entire game series of Slendy Tubbies, just Slendy Tubbies 3. And only Slendy Tubbies 3. Also, I know I was supposed to upload a Hunger Games on the 2nd of November, since that was the first Wednesday of November. But I pushed it to the 2nd Wednesday, because I didn't feel like doing a Hunger Games right after Halloween Havoc. So, uh, yeah, that's my reason why this is on the... Ninth instead of the second. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these districts. In District 1, we have Tinky Winky and Poe. District 2, we have Dipsy and Lala. District 3, we have Nunu and the Guardian. District 4, we have Yeti Tubby and Unit 437. District 5, we have Cave Tubby and Arrow Tubby. District 6, we have Ron and the Announcer. District 7, we have Sergeant Miles and Anne. District 8, we have Lenny and Shadow Tubby. District 9, we have Cleave and Clave. District 10, we have Newborn and Runner Newborn. District 11, we have Ranged Newborn and Scorpion Newborn. And District 12, we have Spider Joid and Rabbit. And there is all 24 of our tributes ready to fight against each other to see who will win. So, let us get started. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Lala runs away from the cornucopia. Rabbit takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Cleave stabs Scorpion Newborn in the pack with a trident. Well, Scorp Scorpion Newborn is dead. Honey scares Dipsy away from the cornucopia. Newborn grabs a backpack and retreats. Runner Newborn runs away from the cornucopia. Tinky Wiki runs away from the cornucopia. Poe runs away from the cornucopia. Anne runs away from the cornucopia. The Guardian runs away from the cornucopia. Ron picks up an MK16 and some ammo, not bad. Clay finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Sergeant Miles runs away from the cornucopia. Shadow Tubby grabs a shield, leaning on the cornucopia. Spider Droid finds a bow, some arrows, and a quiver. Yet Yeti Tubby runs away from the cornucopia. Nudu runs away from the cornucopia. The announcer, an arrow to be far for back, the announcer gives up and retreats. Range Newborn picks up a VC, a VZ-61 and some ammo. Cave Tubby grabs a shovel, and Unit 437 runs into the cornucopia and hides. Day one, Ron overhears Newborn and Rabbit talking in the distance. Cave Tubby, Cleave, Arrow Tubby, and Lenny hunt for other tributes. Spider Droid thinks about home. Sergeant Miles goes hunting. News prick by thorns while picking berries. Tinky Winky thinks about home. The Guardian searches for a water source. Power runs away from Range Newborn, as, as he should. I... They're not fun to go up against. Clave receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Doesn't he have something similar to a hatchet in the game? No, that's not a hatchet. What is it? Oh, they have a cleaver. Yeah, that's definitely different from a hatchet. Gypsy and La La work together for the day. I mean, it makes sense. Can I please scroll down? Thank you very much. Shadow Tubby steals from the announcer while he isn't looking. Runner Newborn attacks Yeti Tubby, but he manages to escape. All right then. And picks flowers. And Unit 437 dies from hunger. How does a robot die from hunger? It doesn't even need to eat. I don't even think Unit 437 had a mouth. Two cannon shots can be heard at the distance. Scorpion Newborn and Unit 437. Night 1. Cleave destroys Lala supplies while she is asleep. Cave Tubby rece receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Air Tubby receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Range Newborn, Shadow Tubby, Newborn, Spider Droid, and Yeti Tubby, Yeti Tubby sleep in shifts. Ron cooks his food before putting his fire out. Rabbit starts a fire. And I just realized how's the Yeti Tubby gonna get food without Unit 437 doing it for him? Now, I mean, I guess Yeti Tubby probably could always get food, but just had the unit, just had the robot go get the food for him because. It was easier. Clave destroys Tinker Week's supplies while he is asleep. Sergeant Miles and the announcer unsuccessfully ambush the Guardian, Lenny, and Nunu, who killed them instead. <laughs> so can we mention the Guardian and sorry, the Guardian and Nunu work together? I mean, uh, technically, in one of the endings, you can't actually join him. So I mean, it makes sense. Still surprising, but whatever. Runner Newborn is unable to start fire and sleeps without warmth. Dipsy receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Poe attempts to capture but falls to her death. There's a joke in there somewhere, but you're gonna have to find it for me. Day 2, Rabbit receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Shadow Tubby, Arrow Tubby, Nunu, Runner Newborn, Raid Ron's camp. Well, it's not everyone's just trying to bully Ron, man. Just bully Ron. Newborn attempts to climb a tree, but falls on Lala, killing them both. How does Newborn climb a tree? I don't even think it has arms. Literally, I don't even think the Newborns have arms in Tiny Tubby's 3, though I could be wrong. So it's a miracle that someone even tried to he could even get anywhere close to climbing a tree, but whatever. Clave constructs a shack. Yeti Tubby constructs... Co constructs... What? He, do you see that word right there? It says collects, not constructs, you moron. Yeti Tubby collects fruit from a tree. Cave Tubby tries to sleep through the, throughout the entire day. Spider Droid, Lenny, Dipsy, and Ranged Newborn Raid Cleaves camp while he is hunting. The Guardian receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor, and Tinky Winky discovers a river. Six can of shots can be heard in the distance. Sergeant Miles and the announcer... Ho, newborn, and oop, almost dropped the core device, and Lala. Night 2, New New, Yeti Tubby, Spider Droid, and Ranged Newborn tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Cleave begs for Lenny to kill him. He refuses keeping Cleave alive. Rabbit tends to Cave Tubby's wounds. 
Not sure how a rabbit can do that, but alright. Runner Newborn receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Shadow Tubby tries to sing himself to sleep. Ron stays awake all night. Air Tubby fends the Guardian, Clave, and Tikawiki away from his fire, and Dipsy loses sight of where he is. Day 3. Spider attacks Yeti Tubby, but he manages to escape. Everyone is attacking Yeti Tubby, and Yeti Tubby's doing like nothing. He's always just running away. It's like, dude, do you see how small the spider joints are? They're so weak. You could probably you could probably crush them but beneath your feet. The ranged newborn is dead. Dipsy receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Runner Newborn, Nunu, new, new, Ron and Cave Tubby hunt for the tributes. Cleave strangles Shadow Tubby after engaging in a fist fight? Okay then? Cleave are just casually murdering Shadow Tubby, yeah, right. Lenny sees smoke rising in the distance but decides not to investigate. Rabbits talks Arrow Tubby. Clave tries to sleep for the entire day. The Guardian is pricked by thorns while picking berries, and Tinkabiki receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Arena event: A swarm of tracker, tracker jackers invades the arena. While running away the track from the tracker jackers, Runner Newborn grabs Cave Tubby and throws him to the ground. What is with the newborn somehow actually being good and not dying so easily? I mean, what in the actual? I feel like Cave Tubby would be so easily able to just kill Runner Newborn, but. Right then, Tinky Wiki survives, Nunu survives, Yeti Tubby survives, Ron survives, Lenny survives, while running towards the tracker jackers, Rabbit grabs the Guardian and throws a- I'm sorry, how did- how did- how does the rabbit- huh? How does a rabbit just grab a dude and just force him to the ground? How strong is that rabbit? I need to look out for rabbit, man. That thing's terrifying. Clave survives, Dipsy survives, Aerotub still dies from tracker jacker toxins, and Spider Joy knocks Cleave unconscious and leaves him there as bait. What is with the weak creatures being so strong? I just don't get it. I don't. All in the slightest. Six cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Range newborn, Shadow Tubby, Cave Tubby, The Guardian, Aerotubby, and Cleave. Let's take a look at how everyone's doing so far, all their stats right now, their statuses. So, in District 1, we have Tinkawiki, who is alive, and Poe, who is dead. Tinkawiki has no kills. In District 2, Dipsy is alive with no kills, and Lala is dead. In District 3, we have Nunu, who is alive with three kills, and the Guardian, who is also, who, who is dead, but also had three kills. So, you know, that's something to show for. Also, uh, in the first three districts, dead, dead, dead. This is a little pattern I noticed. In District 4, Yeti Tubby is alive with no kills. Unit 4 through 7 is dead, bottom text. District 5, both are dead with no kills. District 7, Ron is alive, he has no kills. The announcer is dead. District 7, Sergeant Miles and Anne are also both dead, no kills. District 8, Lenny is alive with three kills. Shadow Tubby is dead. District 9, Cleave is dead with, he had two kills, but you know, he's dead now, so it doesn't really matter. And Clave is alive with no kills. District 10, Newborn is dead with no kills. Ron and Newborn has one kill. District 11, both are dead with no kills. And District 12, Spider Droid and Rabbit, both alive, both with one kill. So from my counting, we're officially in the top 10, so it's pretty fresh. I swear, if someone like Rabbit or Spider Droid wins this, I'm gonna be, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. Night 3, Tinky Winky cries himself to sleep. Runner Newborn, Clave, and Yeti Tubby discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Nunu -Nu receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. How he's gonna use it? I got no idea. Spider Toy is unable to start fire and sleeps that warmth. Rabbit and, Rabbit and Dipsy run to each other and decide to truce for the night. And Ron's trap kills Lenny! Alright then, Lenny's just dead. That was Ron's first kill. Also, we have the feast! I'm not doing bum bum bum, just the feast. The Cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's families. Clave severely slices Yeti Tubby with a sword. Well, alright, the new new Ron and Spider Tor confront, confront each other and grab what they want to slowly. Uh, to new new Ron and Spider Droid confront each other but grab what they want slowly to avoid conflict. Can I not speak? Underboard steals Rabbit's memoirs. What would Rabbit's memoirs even be? <laughs> Dipsy decides not to go to the feast and Tinkui bleeds out from untreated injuries. Oof. You gotta make sure your injuries are actually treated, not untreated. Also, I've realized that multiple times I've said unrelated injuries when it should be untreated. Again, I just, I, apparently I just can't see or speak. Day four, Ron discovers a river. Nunu cannot handle success and commits suicide. Well, Nunu's dead. Spider droid fishes. Runner Newborn receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Clay strangles Dipsy with a rope? <laughs> Even more fitting if he got decapitated, but you know what, that works. Also, insert joke about Poe here. And Rabbit receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor, probably some of those good carrots. Because rabbits love carrots, I think. Also, from my counting here again, we're down to the top five. <sighs> I, if Rabbit wins this, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Five cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Lenny, Yeti Tubby, Tinky Winky, Nunu, -Nu, and Dipsy. Night four, Runner Newborn screams for help. Ron kills Clay for her supplies? Okay, Ron. Go bonkers, Ron. Go bonkers. Rabbit cries himself to sleep, and Spotted Jordan also cries itself to sleep. <sighs> Two are so in sync, it's not even funny, and I, I swear, if they both win this, uh, if any one of them win this, I don't know what I'm gonna- I know I keep saying that, but seriously, they've stayed alive for so long, 
A5, Ron receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Runner Newborn makes a wooden spear, and Spider Druid defeats Rabbit in a fight, but spares his life. In event, the Wolf Mutts are let loose at two arena events in one round. It's pretty epic. Ron survives. Runner Newborn is crushed by a pack of Wolf Mutts. Spider Droid survives, and Rabbit is also crushed by a pack of Wolf Mutts. Well then, it is down to Ron right here and Spider Droid. I'm hoping Ron wins this, because I do not want the Spider- I'm sorry, I cut that off accidentally. I do not want the Spider Droid to win. Three can shots can't be heard in the distance. Clave, Runner Newborn, and Rabbit. Well, it's time to see out of Ron or Spider Droid who's gonna win this. Ron takes himself a killing Spider Droid! Oof! Yes! Yes! And that means our winner is- where, where the frick is my mouse? Mouse, there you are. Our winner is Ron from District 6. Let's freaking go! While Spider Droid didn't win this, he still made it far. Same with Rabbit. I included Rabbit as a joke character, and he did really good for some reason. I just- whatever. Anyways, here's our placements of everyone. Here's- let's go over the top six. Uh, we have Ron, who is the winner, with three kills, so it's pretty good. Spider Droid in second place with one kill, Rabbit in third place with one kill. Again, uh, the two characters that- joke character and very weak character somehow do really good. I don't know why. Runner Newborn in fourth place with one kill, Clave in fifth place with two kills, and Dipsy, who was our pacifist that made it the farthest, went in sixth place. So, it's pretty cool. We made a pacifist since the top six. And there's everyone else if you just want to quickly take a look at who else landed where exactly. And here's all that extra good stuff if y'all just want to read that, so there's all that stuff too. And that was Teletubby Tussle round one. Now, I don't know if you could tell, but this one was a little bit different. You know, I did some different things here. Um, I did some different things with this one. Uh, for example, I didn't go over the summary or the kill by statistics or really anything that I would normally go over because I just, I just felt like it was unnecessary. And the intro was a lot shorter and probably I'm hoping the outro will be a lot shorter too. And also, because uh, my tablet for recording is dead, but I was gonna do this Hunger Games today, I'm doing this with my phone. This will probably be the first and le this is the first and probably will be last time I ever record anything with this because recording with my phone is weird. Yeah, if anything seems weird in this one, it's probably because of what I'm recording with and stuff that I've changed throughout it. But you know, that's enough talking for me. Ron is our winner, who I'm actually perfectly glad with winning because it wasn't one of these two down here. But besides that, Ron is your winner, and um. I'll be seeing you on Thanksgiving for a pretty special round, so see y'all later. I am getting out of here.